A pupil sets up an electrochemical cell based on the following reaction. Aluminium plus copper 2 plus ion giving us aluminium 3 plus ion plus copper. And then 8.1 says identify the type of chemical cell represented by this reaction. Uh, we only have two options here. We have either galvanic cell or electrolytic cell. Clearly, this is a galvanic cell. Why am I saying clearly? We don't have an equation for an electrolytic cell, right? We don't have an equation like uh, the one we have here. Uh, that is because when an electrolytic cell, the electrodes are not reacting. So you cannot have such an equation. You can only have such an equation for a galvanic cell. So the answer for 8.1 is galvanic cell. Well, there's two names for a galvanic cell. It's either it's galvanic cell or you use voltaic cell, right? And then 8.2 says represent this cell by writing its cell notation. So what's the standard formula? What's the formula for a cell notation for a galvanic cell? So you have the anode, the cell bridge, and the cathode right so we have our equation here uh, which have circled in blue right now let's identify what the anode is and what the cathode is right so we know from definition that at the anode that's where oxidation happens we lose electrons right so if you look at this formula here clearly aluminium is losing electrons and becoming aluminium three plus and then at the cathode that's where reduction happens gaining of electrons a uh, copper two plus is gaining electrons and becoming copper right so at the anode we have aluminium and then at the cathode we have copper right so our standard cell notation uh, will then become aluminium and then uh, we have aluminium three plus our salt bridge and then the contents of the cathode right uh, which is copper two plus and copper well if you write this you get your full marks but you can go a step forward and give the states right uh, you can see that for the copper here uh, it's a solid so you can put that on your cell notation but then we don't want to make any unnecessary mistakes so Let's just leave it like this and go to the next question. You are going to get your full marks. Do the electrons in the external circuit flow from the aluminium to the copper or from the copper to the aluminium electrode? Right. So what do we know about a galvanic cell? We know that the electrons in the external circuit of a, a galvanic cell, they flow from the anode. They flow from the anode to the cathode right uh, we have already identified what the anode is and what the cathode is right so clearly they will be flowing from aluminium to copper right from the aluminium uh, electrode to the copper cathode thank you and then 8.4 says for this cell write down the half reaction that takes place at the anode at the anode, oxidation happens, loss of electrons, right? So aluminium uh, tends to aluminium 3 plus, right? Given in our equation here, right? Uh, but then it will be aluminium 3 plus plus 3 electrons, right? Because clearly it's losing 3 electrons and becoming 3 plus. So we're supposed to add three electrons here. So if it was becoming aluminum two plus, then we're also going to add two electrons. That's how you sort of do it. And then this makes total sense, right? We add the anode, oxidation happens, and we are losing our electrons, right? But then in the exam guideline, they don't give you full marks if you write it like this. You actually get one out of the two marks. The way they want you to write it, they want you to say that aluminium 3 plus plus 3 electrons uh, is giving us uh, aluminium 
aluminium right but then with the arrow pointing backwards i don't know why this is because uh, this first option here makes total sense the second option makes sense too because it's basically the same thing let's move to 8.5 8.5 says calculate the initial emf of the cell under standard connections we know that uh, the formula here that we have is that the initial emf of the cell is equals to uh, the electro potential at the cathode uh, minus uh, the potential at the anode so for a galvanic cell you're supposed to get an emf of positive right because this reaction is spontaneous you don't need any external charge to initiate it so the mistake that people usually make is that uh they switch the two numbers they're supposed to use and get a negative value so i'm telling you that if you get a negative value just know that you did something wrong there's no way you're supposed to get a negative value for the emf of a galvanic cell under standard conditions right so now at this point you go to the back of your question paper right you're gonna get a table uh with the potentials for different elements right so uh, at the cathode uh, we already said that we have uh, the copper right so we have to go to our periodic table and see uh, which value the copper has right uh, the copper has a value of 0 0.34 another mistake people do we have copper right copper uh, giving us copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons uh, on the data sheet there's another copper that gives you copper plus plus one electron and then it has a different value and then most of the time people will pick the wrong copper right so you have to pay attention are you picking the right value you have to make sure that you are picking the right value for copper two plus if you're given a uh, copper plus then you have to pick the corresponding value of copper plus the value of copper plus i think is 0 0.16 and then for copper 2 plus is 0 0.34 so you have to make sure that you're picking the right value and then minus uh, the potential at the anode at the anode we have aluminium giving us aluminium 3 plus plus 3 electrons right and then it has a negative value uh it has minus 1.66 go at the back of your question paper and you're gonna see these values i'm talking about they are there on your question paper so now we basically have uh, 0 0.34 plus 1.64 uh, uh, 1.66 right uh, which will give you two volts so then initial emf of this cell under standard conditions is two volts right if we were given an electrolytic cell then we will be expecting a initial emf that is negative right uh let's move to 8.6 five grams of alcl3 is dissolved in the aluminium half cell of the standard cell what will be the effect on the cell potential choose from increase decrease or remain the same right so we know that under standard conditions this is the formula we use this formula we use for 8.5 right but then right now we no longer have those standard conditions so we cannot just say remain the same because this is the formula we use and any of those factors and none of those factors affect this formula we cannot say that because now we don't have the standard conditions one of the standard conditions is that the temperature is at 25 degrees celsius and that the concentration is one mole decimeter cube but then when we add alcl3 we are increasing the concentration of something right now let's break down what concentration we are increasing let's go back to our formula we have so al uh, cl3 when it breaks down will give you al3 plus plus um 3 cl minus so clearly when we add 5 grams of al cl3 we are increasing the concentration of al3 plus but then what effect will that have on our emf right so that's where the new knowledge comes in the new knowledge is that on this equation that we have 
if the forward reaction is favored the emf is gonna increase but then if the reverse reaction is favored the emf is gonna decrease clearly we have increased the concentration of al3 plus so the reverse reaction will be favored lichatlia's principle so when the reverse reaction is favored the emf is supposed to decrease right so here for 8.6.1 we have decrease and then 8.6.26 explain your answer to question uh, 8.6.1 al3 plus right uh, the concentration uh, will increase right and then when it increases richard glass principle the reverse reaction will be favored so reverse uh, reaction is favored uh, now what will happen when the reverse reaction is favored the emf will decrease so yeah we have emf uh, will um, decrease uh, now we can move to 8.7 8.7 says what energy conversion takes place when the cell is in operation for a galvanic cell we convert in chemical energy to electrical energy and then for an electrolytic cell we convert in electrical energy to chemical energy